Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's continue the last session that is uh, data sufficiency and the problems related to data sufficiency that is from aptitude. Let's see the first question in this session. What is the monthly salary of Prashant? What is the monthly salary of uh, Prashant? Here, according to first statement, Prashant gets 15% more than Sumit. Let us take Sumit's 100% uh, and also sum while Sumit uh, gets 10% less than Lokesh. Here, there is a comparison of 3 persons. Let us take Sumit, uh, Lokesh is 100%. If Lokesh is 100%, Sumit gets 10% less. 10% less in the sense that is 90%. And Prashant gets 15% more. 15% more than Sumit. So, this is Prashant is 115% of 90. 115% of 90. This is the value of Prashant. Guys, here it is very important to note that uh, uh, it is not mandatory to calculate the exact values. Uh, so, whether you are able to getting the answer or not, by using only first statement, you are unable to set the monthly salary of uh, Prashant. So, you can uh, eliminate option 1 alone. And the Lokesh salary is given in the second one. If Lokesh salary is given, how can you find Prashant salary only by using second statement? By using second statement alone itself, that is not possible. But if you combine both, uh, that is uh, first and second statements, uh, Lokesh, this 100% value is given. If it is given, then definitely you can able to calculate this value. You can able to calculate uh, this value as well. So, it is very easy to calculate uh, once you know any of the value, whether it is Sumit or uh, Lokesh. If you know Sumit value or else if you know Lokesh value, then definitely it is possible to calculate uh, Prashant salary. Here, Lokesh salary is given in the second one. So, if you combine both the statements, definitely you will get the answer. Therefore, your required answer is both 1 and 2 are together are required to get the answer. Option E is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Vinod and uh, Vinod and Javid salaries are in the ratio 4 is to 3. Vinod and Javid. Ratio of salaries 4 is to 3. What is Vinod's salary? We need to calculate uh, this Vinod's salary. If you know Javid's salary or Vinod's uh, salary, if you want to find uh, Vinod's salary, definitely you must know at least total value or else uh, Javid value. Without knowing these two, definitely it is not possible to get the answer. Uh, if you if you know Javid salary, it is easy to calculate Vinod's salary. If you know total also, definitely it is possible. Why? Because uh, total together they have seven parts. Seven parts will equal to something value, right? Now we will see, Javid salary is 75% of Vinod's salary. Javis salary is 75% of Vinod's salary. If you take Vinod is 100%, Javid is 75%. By using first statement, it is not possible to get Vinod's salary. So, definitely you can eliminate uh, one alone. Statement one alone is not sufficient to get the answer. Now, second one. Javis salary is equal to 4500. Here, individual value. We know that given... Uh, in the given statement, uh, in the given statement, Jav, we know then Javid ratio 4 is to 3. Javid is having 3 parts. Uh, 3 parts is equal to 4500. Then it is very easy to get uh, each part. Uh, 1500. If it is 1500, we know this equal to, we know this having 4 parts. Uh, 4 into 1500, that is uh, 6000. 6000 is the salary of uh, we know the. So, you are getting the answer only by using statement uh, 2 alone. You are not getting the answer by using statement 1 alone. You are getting the answer by using statement 2 alone. Option B is the right answer. Let's move on to the next question. See here. Rajiv's monthly salary is 4000. Rajiv's monthly salary is 4000. And next, uh, what is uh, Atul's monthly salary? Atul's monthly salary you want to find. Uh, there, there must be any... Uh, relationship between Atul and uh, Rajiv, then only it is possible to get the monthly salary of Atul. According to first statement, uh, Atul will get 
Atul will get 500 more. Let us take Atul's salary is uh, A only. Atul will get 500 more than the average of uh, than the average of his and Rajiv's. Rajiv's salary is 4,000 and uh, his salary A. Average of these two persons. Atul will get uh, average of these two persons that is 4000 plus A by 2 plus 500. That is the amount uh, received by Atul. Therefore, by solving this equation, definitely you will get the value of uh, Atul. You are getting the answer by using statement uh, 1 alone. Now, let us see statement 2 alone. Average of Raju and Atul salary is uh, 4500. Average of Atul and Raju, that is average is nothing but uh, sum divided by number of persons, which is equal to 4500. We know that uh, Raju is equal to 4000. So, obviously, Atul is equal to, if you cross multiply this one, this is 9000 minus 4000, which is equal to 5000. 5000 is the salary of Atul. Here also, you will get the answer by using statement uh, 2 alone. In both the cases, you are getting the answer. Therefore, your required answer is either statement 1 alone or else statement 2 alone are sufficient to get the answer. Option C is the right answer. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.